Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Arturia Pigments 5, and today's patch is called Mechanical Demon, and because of that, uh, it's kind of a rhythmic thing, but it's also kind of a cool lead as well. So here we, here we go with the uh, patch with a little bit of a kick drum behind it. So we have that creepy undertone, like the kind of, I guess, a demon that's mechanical, I suppose. And then we can do some lead stuff here at the top. And it's, uh, I snuck in a little bit of an attack here. Kind of cool and something that might be interesting. So especially with this patch, uh, I, I do like the reverb here. We're not re using too many effects. However, I do think that if you applied the Valhalla Vintage Verb, this might be a little bit more interesting. So if we go to our effects, add Valhalla. Where are we? There we go, Vintage Verb. And maybe we can do the, uh, the chamber, maybe increase the uh, seconds. That might be kind of interesting. Maybe low cut this a little bit. And maybe we use something like that because I think the uh, this chamber algorithm the newer one might be a little bit more interesting All right so let's go ahead and give that a try that might be kind of cool but there's also a secret weapon inside this guy so it's really fun as i was like okay this is a cool lead right What if we made it a little bit nastier, some hair? So I put a synth macro on it and it dramatically changes the sound. Kind of makes it beefy. And let's say we turn off this reverb and try that again with some Valhalla. Man, that can sound pretty nasty. But anyway, let's go ahead and start making this patch. We're going to disable this send right now. Let's bring it down to the bottom. And let's turn on our reverb and I guess turn off our effects for now because that can be a little deceiving. No sequencer today. A little bit of effects. This patch isn't too crazy really to make. We're using a wavetable from the new Pigments 5 folder, which is pretty cool. A little bit of an analog and then uh, all of the utility stuff. So let's turn off utility. Let's turn off analog. Let's disable the first filter since we're not using that uh Right now, and then let's go to our first wavetable. So basically, what's happening is this, right? So we're doing a little fine modulation here, a little position modulation. So let's go ahead and start building this bad boy. So we have a new copy of pigments. Let's go to file new preset. Now on the wavetable, if we click here, we can see that this one's called Filter Freak, and this is going to be in the new Pigments 5 category. And if we know our alphabet, it's going to be right here, Filter Freak. So the position is going to be at zero by default, and then we're using envelope two at 0 0.30 to modulate it. So envelope two, drag and drop, and bring this up to 0 0.30. So nothing too crazy. But we have to ask ourselves, what is envelope two doing? Let's go take a look at envelope two. So this guy attack is going to be one, decay, eight, four, seven, attack one, decay, eight, four, seven. Let's bring this out a little bit. Eight, four, seven. There we go. Come on. There we are. Stains down and then release, I believe it's default at 100. Yep. And then do we change the curve? Negative two, we did not. So that's pretty much all we have to do. Right. So we're doing this guy. Nothing too crazy. So next up, we can see that here we're moving this fine pretty fast. So LFO 1.17. So LFO 1, drag and drop this on the, on the fine here. And at 0.17 depth. And let's take a look and see what LFO 1's doing. See what this uh, whole thing is about. So this guy is free running at a rate of 5.70. So free running and then a rate of 5.70. There we go. <laughs> Almost every time I, I'm doing a patch kind of like this, it reminds me so much of, uh, I think, Larger Than Life. I don't even know how to play it. I don't even know. I used to know how to play that. Anyway, let's move on here instead of talking about NSYNC. Or is that NSYNC? 
or Backstreet Boys. I don't even remember. It's such a long time ago. Okay, so we're using a little bit of unison to voices right here. See how close we are to this guy. We're gonna turn this down. What else do we have here? Aha. So we're using a little bit of folding here and this is gonna be on hard. So we bring this down. Said from the volume change, we're pretty close. Okay, so basically this is our one we're rebuilding. So down here in the fold, we're using macro two at 0.28. So macro two, we can drag and drop this here to our fold at 0.28, which gives it a kind of a cool sound. And it makes it a little bit harder. So we can double click and call this hard because I don't have any better words for that. And then we're gonna get to the synth one in just a moment here. Then we have a sub. So basically we're in a good spot here. Let's take a look at engine two. Now this one, funny enough, was actually an afterthought. So I was making this lead. I'm like, what can we do to spice this up? And it's super simple for this guy. So this is basically a saw wave and a square wave on an analog engine. So we have a saw wave, let's pick a square wave and let's drop the square down by one octave, which is a really nice way to get some like this guttural, just gross kind of sound, right? It's nasty synth sounds. And then for this, we're gonna be doing some unison at seven. So unison at seven. And then we have to turn our sound wave into the mix and we're going 100% or zero dB for both of these. All right, nothing too crazy. Cool. Now this is gonna be on the first macro, so we'll double click and label this synth, there we are. And this is going to be on the volume. So if you look here, this is gonna be all the way down and we're gonna be at 0.81. So output all the way down. This first macro, drag and drop at 0.81. So we're basically controlling the volume, bringing this engine in and out however we want to. So 0.81. So if we have this, we don't hear anything. We're playing keys right until we bring out the macro. So that's how that, how that thing works. Okay. So I believe that is all for this patch. Like I told you, it's pretty simple. And then let's take a look at the utility engine. So this guy is white noise and basically we target this guy. That's basically what's happening. So we have this white noise here. If we hold down a note, we just kind of hear it going, right? So if we go to this guy, we can turn this on. It's going to be white noise. And this volume's at negative 22. Now this is totally up to you how much you want to have in here. I just think it's kind of cool to have a little extra there. And then we're going on heater for the next one. So we go to heater. Now the whole point of this is to add a little bit of transient to this, uh, to this uh, patch here. Kind of pokes it out a little bit more in the mix. So both of these are going to filter one, which is fine. And the volume is going to be negative 70, so all the way down here. Now this is going to be envelope three. So let's go ahead and drag and drop. Envelope three, and I believe we did like 0.71. Now this is up to you, right? So however much depth you want to add is going to be how loud this is going to be in your mix. So if it ends up being too much, then you can always scale that down a little bit. So envelope three, right? What's envelope three even doing? Let's take a look at this guy. So envelope three, let's kind of move that like that. And let's go to our envelope three. So this guy, our tack is one, that's fine, one. Decay is gonna be 113, so we can bring this down. 113, so it's pretty quick, right? So it's just a transient, it's in and it's out, and that's all it is. The release, I believe, is default. We didn't even touch that at all, 100, yep. And our decay curve is negative two, which is also default, so that's all we gotta do for this guy. All right, so let's go target the other one, our new one here, see how close we got. Yeah, nothing too crazy. And then we're also doing our sub here as well. I guess we can turn that on. And that's going to be on macro three. That's kind of just a standard I've been doing. So drag and drop on the output, bring this down. Filter is going to be direct out. And let's see how much depth we gave this. 0.82. So 0 0.82 like that. There we go. 0 0.82. So whenever we want to sub, we just turn this macro three, label it sub. There we go. Got a sub. Cool. So that's pretty much all of the sounds. Now let's take a look at the filter. Let's turn this guy on. So we're using the Matrix 12, which I think is kind of appropriate for this patch. The cutoff is going to be 3345. Let's bring that down. 3345. The envelope 2 is going to be 22%. So envelope 2, we already set that up. Drag and drop. And 22%, something like that. Nothing too crazy. Resonance is going to be 0.344. Bring that guy up. Cool. Too crazy. 
All right, I think we're in a good spot here. So we can turn all these engines back on as well as on this guy here. <laughs> so that's working. Let's check out our synth macro. Hard. Yeah, so it really depends on how you want to play it. We have our sub. Cool. All right. So let's kind of move on here. I believe I left the sub down for the most part because you don't really need it unless you're using the lead. So it really depends on how you want to use the patch. But anyway, let's get into our effects. So for this guy, we're using really three here and then one over here. So really just four effects total. So if we turn this effects on, we're using the chorus. So we can go here, change this out to our chorus. And then our, our mount is really going to be 0.18 or 18%. Kind of widens it up a little bit. Something like that. And then we're going to a delay. So drag and not drag and drop. Click and select, I suppose. I've said drag and drop so many times. Okay, so 0.16. So this is going to be 16%. So bring down just a smidgen. And then our time is going to be 1 over 8, which we have to click this here because 1 over 4 is default. And then maybe a little bit of high pass and a little bit more steer. No, we did ping pong, so that kind of just moves it like that. So that's pretty much all we got to do. And then the multiband, which <laughs> really makes this patch cool. And I don't think there's really too much to do here. Maybe a little bit of the lows. That might be interesting. Cool on that guy. And then we have FXB, which is just going to be our reverb. So we can turn this on. And again, you could really use whatever reverb that you want to use. I would probably suggest maybe doing the uh, the new chamber on the Valhalla. I think that sounds pretty cool with a patch like this. And then, so this amount's going to be 40. So it's going to be default. And we're not doing too much here. And yeah. So we have pretty much the patch made now. The last and most fun thing to do in the whole world is map our effects macros. I know we all love doing that. So 18%, bring that down, 0.18. There we go. And I'm sure most of you click away because this seems incredibly boring. 16%, bring that down, drag and drop, 0.16. There we go. So interesting. And then the reverb, drag and drop. At least we only have three for this patch. It's not too crazy. And then 0 0.40 and double click macro four because we don't want to leave things unlabeled. And there we go. Out of curiosity, I wonder what the uh, sequencer sounds like with the arpeggiator. That might be kind of cool. Let's see. Or if we, I guess, brought this down to two and kind of do, do like a two octave thing or a one octave thing. I don't know. I'm unsure of that. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn this off and maybe let you play with a signature if you want to try that. It might just be a cool lead on its own, or we can give it some hair. And it makes a statement with that uh, first macro knob, which is actually a pretty easy engine to make. So that's how you make the Mechanical Demon. Totally a fun patch to play with. A lot of ways to use it. So if you want to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below, and it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you in the next video.